Good day, Mr. President, and greetings from the International Space Station. I am Koichi Wakata of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and commander of the Expedition 39 crew on the International Space Station, along with my crewmates from NASA, Rick Mastracchio and Steve Swanson. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Japan and Miraikan. I am thrilled that you will be speaking to Japanese students today about the extraordinary relationship in science, technology, and space exploration between the United States and Japan. I have lived, studied, and worked in the United States for many years, and I have seen firsthand how the technology we develop together are benefiting the entire world. Good day, Mr. President. I'm Rick Mastracchio of NASA. It's an honor to speak with you today. It is truly amazing how beautiful and fragile Earth looks from this vantage point. The view of our planet in the vast darkness of space was especially poignant two days ago as we all celebrated Earth Day. We are pushing the bounds of space, and one day in the not-too-distant future, I believe we will have people living on other planets. But for now, it is important to recognize that Earth is our home. We only have one Earth, and it's ours to protect. Hello, Mr. President. I'm Steve Swanson of NASA. It is a thrill for us to talk to you today. I will be taking over as commander of the International Space Station once Queechee returns to Earth in a few weeks. The chance to learn from him and benefit from his experience is invaluable. The three of us are a wonderful microcosm of what can be achieved when nations work together toward the benefit of all humanity. Mr. President, one of the most recent success stories in the long relationship between the United States and Japan in space is the Global Precipitation Measurement Mission, or GPM. This is a groundbreaking satellite that is changing how we measure rain and snowfall from space. Developed by NASA and JAXA, GPM symbolizes our bilateral efforts to advance science together. Today, you are seeing some of the first data that has been received from the satellite, including a global map of precipitation that we could not have created prior to GPM. This exciting project is just beginning, and its data will help the United States and Japan better understand the environment and safeguard it for future generations. Mr. President, thank you again for joining us today, and enjoy the rest of your stay in Japan.